Hi, good morning. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your independent author from South Philadelphia. And today I have sad news. I just lost a, a close friend of mine, a co-worker. Um, she's been my friend for years. Uh, she helped me raise my children. Uh, she taught me how to behave and act like a lady. Um, she just left such an impression on me. And um, I just want to remember her. Uh, and also mentioned that it's a little um, unsettling, not so much unsettling, but it's a little interesting that, that she died on the same day as my best friend um, who passed last year on her birthday. So today is the birthday of my best friend who died a year ago. And then it's interesting that my coworker, who's also a very dear friend of mine and considered me as her daughter, um, and supported me through my writing and uh, watched my children while I did book signings. And she actually went with me on a book signing at a convention center in Philadelphia and because I was nervous and I didn't have transportation. She came to my house and she picked uh, me up and she took me to the convention center. Uh, her name is Lois Dean and she just was such a wonderful woman and she made friends wherever she went. So this video uh, is, in, is in tribute to both Lois and Retta and um, just reflecting on friendship and how when people enter your life, you don't realize how long they will be in your life and what importance they'll play, what role of importance they'll play in your life. But I find that um, through work, I've met friends that are lifelong friends and dear friends and have been with me through my trials, uh, through raising my children, through my ups and downs. They have been my cheerleaders, um, uh, rooting me on with my writing. And I think about my friends um, from North Philadelphia, Shelby and, and her sisters, Dorothy and that whole gang, and Miss Jessie Coleman, who took me in when I was 16. And, and raised me and made me graduate high school. So I was reflecting on friends and the legacy of friends and how um, in the good times as well as the bad times and the trying times, uh, we, we're here for each other. Um, I visited Lois as much as I could. I held her hand and I just let her know that we love her and that God is, is waiting for her. And um, uh, I'm not gonna make it a long video, but um, it just makes me realize that uh, the importance I play in other people's lives and what legacy do I want to leave once I, I pass away. And for me, my legacy will be my children, will be the friendships that I create, will be the people that I try to help, and the people that have helped me will be gratitude and how I view living on earth and how I, I value life. And as I get older, I value life. I value every day. Uh, taking advantage of every opportunity and um, for me as far as writing and legacy my children will have my legacy which is my writing so um, I will write all type of things things that are entertaining for the moment things that may uh, surpass uh, generations um, but my legacy will be my writing my legacy will be my children and my legacy will be that I want to help people I want to contribute to the society. So um, I hope all is well with you, my viewers. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and cheering me on and for purchasing my books and supporting me in all kinds of ways. Um, and definitely spread the word. And today is a day of mourning, it is a day of sadness. But along with that sadness, there's an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life just as Lois Dean and Retta have made a difference in my life. And the coworkers that I have today um, at work, they make a difference in my life and they cheer me on and we're a family. So um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and, and enjoy your loved ones. Love them while you can, uh, show them how important they are and take time to listen to them, uh, whether they're small or whether they're older. And if you can visit someone that's sick, um, as the Bible says, visit the sick and the shut-in, um, do so because it makes a difference. It encourages them. 
So as always, love, peace, joy, happiness. Bye-bye.